if you are into your food, into your nutrition, uh, there's something really exciting for you. But if you're a red, then even more exciting because I've got Mona on. Uh, the nutritionist for Liverpool Football Club, for the first team, for the staff there at Anfield and, of course, at the training grounds. Mona, first off, how do you get this this dream job? Tell us your journey so far. <laughs> oh, it has been an amazing journey. So uh, I started uh, working for the German national team in 2009. And I thought, um, oh, that's exciting. That's a little bit of a one-off. Luckily, I can say it was not a one-off. I moved on from the German national team to Bayern Munich. And then um, I came here to this beautiful city, to this amazing football club. And um, I'm very, very happy that I'm here since over five years now. Five years, wow. Now, now Mr. Klopp actually said that you were his most important signing so far. Um, <laughs> the new nutritionist of a big football team, a big football club like that. It is such an important role, isn't it? It's a wonderful role and um, there has been a massive change the last uh, seven, eight, nine, ten years around that topic. There is much more attention, much more openness, much more care around that topic as well. We are so, so, so grateful that we had the chance to build a complete team so that I got the trust of the owners of Jürgen to, to start creating like um, such a big approach around nutrition and not only science, not only theory, also like a practical approach because nutrition happens mostly uh, in the dining room when you fill, fill your plate. And um, that's also a wonderful thing to, because um, the book is exactly um, a good view around how you can practice nutrition in an easy, understandable way. So, so the book is called A Taste of the Liverpool Way. It's out now. It is a great gift. Like I'm, th- I'm thinking of my dad here, Mona, because he's a massive red. He's, he tries to, to eat well and look after himself. It kind of brings both together, this, doesn't it? Yeah, and that was our idea. So to create something um, where we can transport a taste what we do behind the scenes so we can't give everything away but we definitely can give a good insight a good taste um it's for every age group so it's a very very colorful book with a lot of infographics a lot of pictures we want to reach every fan everyone who is um, interested in, in nutrition and there are a couple of recipes in there but it's not a recipe book so it's a lot more it's a storytelling book about nutrition about um, getting some good f- foundations around um, nutrition in, but also around fermentation, sustainability. So everything would impact nutrition. T- tell us about your kind of normal day, because it, it's, it must be different every day, first off. Because if you if you've got a if you've got a big game, then I presume the day before that is is vital in terms of what you feed, what you feed the team and what you tell them to eat. Just, just give us a snapshot of what you do. Well, as you just said. Um, not one day is the same (laughs) because there are so many things um, that can never be predicted and uh, we always have to adapt on like what's happening sometimes we can be quite proactive towards things um, around logistics and plannings and menus and all these things but we are still working with a wonderful bunch of individual people so um, every day is just like so unpredictable um, if if that makes sense but um uh, in our in our fixture calendar, everything is so quick, isn't it? So it's not like just Monday to Sunday. It's match day to match day, and it's match day minus two, match day minus one, match day, match day plus one, and that's almost a little bit our routine, what we're having. And um, yeah, therefore our recovery times are most of the time too short. So we need to be really creative create a lot of inspiration, how to support all these recovery strategies to get the boys ready for the next one. What, what would be the key thing that they should eat before before going onto the pitch? So, so say for their breakfast, if they've got a 12.30 p.m. kickoff, what, what would they be eating? <laughs> that's actually quite, quite interesting for us because that's probably the most difficult one to make appealing if that makes sense would you like to eat three and a, and a half hours before the game like a massive portion of, of pasta and it's nine o'clock in the morning so that's um that's lovely for us because we can play around with like a high carb intakes make it interesting make it appealing make sure the right portion size and up on the plate and yeah the 12 30 kickoffs are 
sometimes a little bit of a challenge, but we try to inspire the boys to um, advise them in the right way. And the good thing, we're always with them, we're traveling with them, so um, we can always look after them and make sure the right thing is in the bowl or on the plate. Do we have any fussy eaters, Mona? I've got to ask you. There, there, must, there must be one or two that, that might, not, might not take up your advice. Do we have anyone who's a bit funny with what they eat? Well, everyone is, is, is an individual, isn't it? And um, their cultural backgrounds, there is like um, cell foody things. They are really um, interesting. But um, in general, they are all just super, super easy. And um, it's, our, it's our duty to create the menus and the buffets in the right way that everyone finds what they need and what they like. And that's probably the biggest difference towards like if you have like just one cyclist, for example. But we have a big squad on about like 22, 23 players we take on uh, for a match day. And um, yeah, so that's on us to get that ready because then it's just easy to decide, isn't it? What about the downside for the players in terms of, you know, everyone likes a little drink every every now and then. Do they get to eat takeaway, you know, once a month or, or whatever? How, how does that work? How do you kind of give them a day off? <laughs> so for us, it's very, very important that we provide a lot of education. So uh, when do you eat what? What are the produce doing? What is What about that product quality in here and there? Where to get it? So with that mindset and that foundation, everyone is able to make their own decision and find the right balance and um, actually being aware if I do that, what is happening here and then. And that's our philosophy. We want to empower the boys to make their own decision, to make the right decision in the right moment. And um, I think that explains why we can put like the strict finger off that topic. It's been brilliant to chat to you, Mona. She, she's obviously got a lot to do with Liverpool's success at the moment. So thank you so much for chatting and check out that book. It is out now, A Taste the Liverpool Way. Thank you, Mona. Thank you.